Hello, my name is Z, and if you're watching this, well, I'm dead. You know, probably rubbed out by the mayor, and possibly any day now after the whole killer robot toy incident thing. So, I think we're gonna have to just skip straight to the important stuff while, well, while I still have a heartbeat. Okay, let's say that the current Dome City Sports Stadium, the dome -drome, has become so outdated that our local minor league wiffle ball team won't even play there. But the Dome City economy is really depending on a 2036 Olympic bid, for some reason. So, you've created a cool, futuristic new stadium like this using Autodesk Revit because you are multi-talented in a variety of advanced applications that your boss refuses to pay you more for. Z, I, I, can't, I can't get my Technotard unzipped because my Techno mittens are too slippery from my Techno ice cream. And it's, it's getting really hot in here. But you can't start building this new stadium until you've sold out all the skyboxes. And at like 450k a piece, <laughs> that's a tall order. So you and your team of architects, engineers, and builders will need to work together, concentrating heavily on designing the coolest, most detailed, most sellable skyboxes ever. And let's say you've got an idea, but you want to make it a little smoother, you know, more organic. Well, just export your stadium as a DWG into AutoCAD, attach it as an XREF, and start modeling. Z, Z, seriously, I, I, I'm moistening very quickly here. Now that you've attached your XREF and started doing that modeling voodoo that you do so well, it's probably a good time to talk about building information modeling and how Revit and AutoCAD can really work together. Autodesk's BIM solution is cool because you can evaluate sustainable building and infrastructure design alternatives using kick-ass analysis tools before you ever break ground. At, at least that's what the Autodesk sales guy told me. Um, he, he says kick-ass a lot. Does a lot of fist pumping too. Hmm, the adjective that would best describe me, hmm, I'm going to have to go with briny. Now you probably already know that BIM requires Revit or Civil 3D at the core, but AutoCAD can extend the power of BIM by helping you explore conceptual design ideas and accurately document and share everything you figured out during the BIM process. By the way, uh, now you're going to convert this mesh into a solid, detach the XREF and save the skybox as a DWG, then go back into Revit make an in-place mass, and then link the DWG of the skybox inside the mass. I mean, it's, it, duh, you know, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I also think I mentioned that I'm going to be dead soon, so I'm sure you're paying close attention here, and that the skybox you're designing is just as technologically advanced and ecologically sound as this one, he said, sarcastically. <laughs> Gee, my technologically advanced costume is not ecologically sound. So I've got some serious global warming going on in here. Or more specifically, groinal warming. See, my pants are hot. Do you, are you getting my metaphor? Now, you can simply click on the faces of the mass you imported from AutoCAD and convert them into walls and curtain walls. And more importantly, because the object you imported is a solid, you can use it to actually cut floors here in Revit. Okay, that's your design in Revit, which you'll continue to awesomeize here because you are a perfectionist. But when you're ready to do detailed construction documentation with all sorts of annotations, you'll bring your design back into AutoCAD, where native DWG support will enable clear communication and collaboration with others who rely on DWG data, like the architects, engineers, and builders who will need to completely compensate for all the stuff you obviously didn't learn here today. <laughs> Z, I really need an unzipping stat! Michael Phelps can swim laps in here! Very salty laps, but you get by. AutoCAD and BIM, best friends forever. I wish I could be there with you to see the result. A new, shining domodrome, an Olympic monument, an economic Valhalla conceived and built through the power of BIM. Or whatever you come up with. I, oh, I could really use a little BIM on my zippy here. 
A sham wow, if, if you've got one handy, I... Maybe I won't be there. But if the techno glue I put on his zipper holds, maybe he won't either. See? Seriously? Little help? Oh.